We opened Deeson's back in April of uh, 2009. Deeson's is uh, located in Canterbury, right in the heart of Canterbury, probably about 150 yards from the entrance to the cathedral. It's a beautiful city. Uh, it, it has a huge number of tourists every year visiting Canterbury. There's no other restaurants in Canterbury serving British food. All our dishes are British dishes, but they're, they're not just classic British dishes, they're uh, a modern take on many dishes. It's, it's, it's really the whole thing here. It's about the service, uh, ambience, atmosphere, and the food. The restaurant's definitely got two different feels. We've got the lunch and the dinner service. Like I say, we're in the middle of a, a city. It is the hustle and bustle. People want to come in, eat quickly, get back out shopping. But there again, you've also got uh, people who want to have a business meeting here. So, so we do run two, lunch, two menus at lunch. We have the sort of lighter lunch menu, which is you know for people that you know want to come and experience the food, experience the atmosphere, but also are time limited. Evening-wise, lights dimmed, full tableware on the, on the tables. It's a much more relaxed atmosphere. We never double book tables. You can have your table for as long as you like, so it's all about the dining experience, taking your time and enjoying the meal. We also um, are very fortunate in that we have our own private dining room upstairs which can um, cater for up to 12 people. Um, it is lovely in the way that if you've got a special occasion saying you do have your own room, you do have your own waiter uh, and it's just a different experience again. We don't charge extra for the room, it's, it's basically you know, if you book the room and you're the first to book the room, that's your room. Sourcing our produce, well, I mean, I've visited many farms before opening the restaurant and many suppliers, and, and not only not only on the food side of things, but also, for example, all our, our beers and wines uh, come from uh, small small vineyards and small microbreweries around Canterbury. Uh, all the artwork in the restaurant is my wife's, who's a, a, a local artist, uh, and we use local artists for wallpapers, etc. So we really try and carry the theme through the whole restaurant. And if I was a tourist going to Spain, going to France, going to Italy, I'd never go to those countries and want to find traditional English food. I want to go to those countries and experience the food that they have to offer us. And that's all part of the travelling experience. So without having to go to the expense maybe of going to a Michelin-style restaurant, say, look, we do do fantastic food. We are proud of what we do. But you can come in and have traditional, proud, well-served British food.